Hey guys, sorry I haven't filmed in a while. Um, I've been really busy sewing and working on my Etsy store. Um, and I got my nails done, as you can see, which I never go to get my nails done. But my mom dragged me and she was like, oh, you know, it's free. And I, um, she has like a deal going on with her client or something. So somehow she gets her nails done free at this place in Long Beach. So she was like, look at this really cute minion design. And, you know, I was like, okay, I'll get it, you know, but... I was just like sitting there in the chair like all tense like a cat digging its claws and see the I don't know it's just weird for me to get manicures and pedicures I guess I'm not that girly but anyways um this is what I've been working on I'm currently selling these frozen drawstring bags I'm almost done as you can tell I just have to put the drawstring um in the rest of these but these are all completely done here and there's two different patterns let me show you so I have this lighter pink one and it just has like little pictures of Anna and Elsa. They're really cute. It, I mean it's, it looks way better in person. It kind of looks like a little watercolor painting the way that they printed their faces. And it has the letters A for Anna and E for Elsa and it's very glittery fabric. But um, the glitter doesn't transfer super easy like if you're worried about that. Like you would have to like really be touching it a lot see okay so it just has um black paracord drawstrings and it's very durable i double stitched it and reinforced it and all that good stuff so there's that one let me show you the other one the other print i have so the other one is a darker pink with a bunch of little white polka dots and snowflakes and um if you're lucky, you'll get one that says Sisters Forever. You might be able to get like a full, the full image of that on your bag. Um, and it's just, you know, images of Anna and Elsa, but these have the full body images. And again, it's just a black paracord and I burn the ends uh, to prevent fraying. So there's that and I don't want to bore you guys too much with my Essie store, but I did go to Walmart because I was picking up a bunch of stuff, um you know like supplies for sewing and the one that I went to kind of sucked like fabric wise but I got a bunch of stuff on clearance so I got this whole bag of stuff and I found some really good stuff um let me see I paid cash so I could show you guys my receipt I spent let's see if it's gonna focus or if anybody cares um I just spent 17.41 and I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, so the first thing I got was this set of elastic threaders. And there are three in here, I believe. Yeah, there's three. And it's only a dollar each. And these come in handy for when you want to thread elastic through, uh, you know, like some pants or something. You know, like an area that would be as narrow as this. And actually, you could probably use it, like if I was using ribbons instead of paracord, then I would probably use one of these to just help me thread it through here without it getting caught. So I got that. It was only a dollar. The next thing I got was this set of clear fabric grippers, and there's 24 in here total. It was only $2.50. Great deal. Um, and you know what? I... I actually bought these because um, I want to use these for in between like on my vanity I have glass setting on metal so I'm missing some little thingies some little grippers or whatever you want to call them and I feel like I could use this for that instead um, I don't think I'm really gonna use it for the purpose that it's for but hey that doesn't matter it doesn't you know it's not gonna hurt anybody and then the next thing I got was this bag of, they call them spangles, but they're just like little confetti pieces and they have like little holes so that you can attach them with thread to fabric or whatever you want to sew it to. Um, I guess it was $2.97 and then I got it for a dollar, so that's a pretty good deal. I mean, it's a pretty good big handful. Um... And there's a bunch of cool little stuff in here, and I just couldn't pass it up. It was only a buck. So I got that. And the next thing I got was the, let's see, their fingertip ironing shields. 
So I'm guessing they're made out of silicone and you can wear all three of them at once, I guess. Um, and they're just, I actually should have used them when I was ironing these. But basically, um, before I would sew something, I would press it. So like on this part, you know, I ironed it and I would, I should have used these, but I didn't want to open them because I wanted to show them to you guys. But, you know, you just put them on your fingertips so that when you're holding this down and you're using the other hand to iron, you don't burn the crap out of your fingers. So that's what those are for. Hopefully I'll use those soon. Um, and then the next thing I got was this set of... It's basically like glue that you put on fraying edges. And it keeps the edges from fraying. So and this was only $3, which I thought was a fantastic deal because they sell this... For way more than $3. And it's a good brand. Singer. You know, like the sewing machine brand. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. So I got that. Just two in a pack. And then I got this. Which I thought was awesome. And then when I actually opened it up and looked at everything. I was like, oh, this is really, like, way better than I thought. But anyways, it's only 5 bucks. It's a pin caddy. It has 15 pins on here. This green base is magnetic, and then you have this plastic cover here where you put the pins through the, this hole. I don't know if you can see. And then this is removable also. And then back here you have another compartment where you can put pins inside. And there's this little thing that says open here, and then that comes undone also. So that's awesome. And it's pretty heavy so that, you know, you don't knock it over or whatever. And so there's that. And the last thing I got was this ribbon from my Etsy store. Um, I'm probably going to use it to package the boxes. Because usually I'll, if um, a customer buys jewelry, I'll put it in a nice little gift box. And then I put it, um, blah, blah, I put ribbon on the box. So I'm probably going to use this for that. So we'll see. And this was only, I think it was like 3 bucks. It was like $2.97. So it's really cute. You know, it goes with my whole bunny theme. It has a rabbit, and then it has um, little teddy bears and pink and blue buttons. So it was really cute. Um, I got that, and that's everything from my Walmart haul there. And I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll catch you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.